Hello, um, today we're working on this uh, Mercury XR6 2003. We're gonna do um, the water pump impeller. Um, I recently got this boat and uh, I'm not sure how old is it, so I'm, gonna, I'm just gonna replace it since I'm getting ready to take it on the water and uh, I don't really want to have any issues with this so um, I recommend you if you know if you're not sure how old is your water pump just replace it it's not that expensive just order a new kit and uh, replace it just to make sure that you know it's gonna be working properly all right I'm gonna um, kind of like show you where the screws are uh, the bolts um, and kind of show you also like what the sizes are, what size uh, sockets you're gonna need. All right, let me show you real quick. First, where's the where every single bolt? Okay. Um. First, what I did is I sprayed a little bit of oil. You can spray what um any whatever brand you have at home, just to kind of help uh, to loosen the bolts and um. So you don't have a, you know, you don't want to um, mess up the, the bolts because then uh, you're going to have a big issue. So I spray on every single one. There's, we're going to start from this one. So you have one right there. There's another one right there. And there on the other side, there's an, another one like this. Spray this one right here too. You're going to remove that one. There's another one inside here. Spray that one. I sprayed this one too because I'm gonna check my oil. So I wanna make sure I have a good amount of oil in there. See, there's the other one is right here. We sprayed that one already. These ones I already loosened them up a little bit. As you can see, like they're ready to come out. This one right here, you're gonna have to hold it while you're and do it from the other side. And then there's two hiding underneath, right there. This one, oh, and also another one. Once you remove the one from the top, this one right here, there's a plate underneath this plate. It's gonna come out. Once this comes out, I'm pretty sure there's gonna be another bolt in there going up. So, check for that I'm pretty sure I have another outboard I done it before it was an older outboard but mine was like that so um, <laughs> don't try to pry it or anything uh, you know make sure that you don't have a, a screw in there you don't want to break this thing anyways uh, I'm gonna start working on this thing I'm gonna put my phone on the stone and uh, Hopefully you guys can have an idea because I was trying to look for a video how to do this when I first got my boat and I couldn't find one so okay right there alright for the one on the front it's gonna be a 16 millimeter bolt. For this one right here, you're gonna need a 5 8. 5 8. I like to loosen these ones, not take them all the way out, but I like to loosen them pretty close to where you can just take them off, but don't take it all the way out. You wanna remove this one all the way, and then you can tilt the motor, and you remove them and when you're ready to pull this whole unit, and you remove them all the way, and um, just so it doesn't, in case, you know, it doesn't fall on you, well, just right here.
I really recommend you to use what the, exactly the size you need to undo this screws because like you don't want to mess them up. If you mess them up, it, there's no way to get you know a socket in there. It's pretty small space in there. for that one um show you there's a cover that's cover for that one um somebody i guess somebody else if they ever had the ball before kind of like broke it right there because what i do is i usually pry a little bit with the flat screwdriver and then push on these two clips there's two little clips in there plastic clips push them one side then the other side and then spool it up. Just that cover the goes in there like that. There's another bolt underneath. Let's see if it's 16. things for this one right here. Once we remove the nice plate, there's a nice 16 bolt there. these screws put them in a container so you don't lose them so these ones you put them aside so whenever you're putting everything back together you don't have to look around for it
those ones underneath the same is same as the one on the front 16 I don't recommend you to use the dip socket because it's so close to the this piece right there that you you need a dip socket That one kind of like pushes down this unit, so it kind of helps to break these two pieces apart from each other. When you get to the part where you're moving the last two, try to hold it. You know, you don't want this to like fall to the ground. Thank you. 
this is a lot easier when you have two people at least one to be help you a little bit if you're doing it by yourself it's okay you can do it